Hi, my name is Mr. Faiz and I'm in charge of computing and business. So what is computer science? Well, computer science is a highly regarded subject by employers and higher education institutions alike. It will prepare you to approach technology with much more confidence but also with efficiency and effectiveness. It will set you on a much different path than previous generations and is an opportunity to grasp with both hands. So part of computer science, what we're calling now is the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution is an ongoing automation of traditional manufacturing and industrial practices using modern smart technologies such as artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, biotechnology, nanotechnology, cybersecurity, quantum computing, robotics, 5G wireless technology and 3D printing. So why would you pick computer science? Well, it is an exciting time to be involved. The world is currently in the middle of a technological revolution powered by computers. Computers are an essential part of all aspects of society, including transport, medicine, communication and entertainment. If you were to give up using computers of any kind for a day, imagine the things you would be giving up. Computer science can give you the opportunity for an individual to delve much deeper into the inner workings of a computer system and the theory of how they work. With the country crying out for more computer scientists, there has never been a better time to train up in computer science and develop your skills in some of the thousands of different career paths available. So what does a qualification entail? There's two papers. Paper one, computer systems, and paper two, computational thinking, algorithms, and programming. So what does paper one consist of? Well, it's a non-programming element. It's one and a half hours. It's worth 50% of the GCSE and it is worth 80 marks. This, the paper it covers, such as systems architecture, memory storage, computer networks, protocols, network security, systems, software, ethical, legal, cultural, environmental impact of digital technology. Paper two then. Well, this consists of the programming elements. Again, it's one and a half hours. Again, it's worth 50% and it is worth 80 marks. In paper two, students will be required to design, write, test, refine program code in one, in one of the languages. And the language we use is Python. In preparation for paper two, students should have sufficient practice and experience of the following. Structuring programs into modular parts with clear documented interfaces to enable them to design appropriate modular structures for solutions, including authentication and data validation, writing and debugging and testing programs to enable them to develop the skills to articulate how programs work and argue using logical reasoning for the correctness of programs in solving specified problems. And lastly, designing and applying test data to testing of programs so that they are familiar with the test data types and the purpose of testing. So beyond Key Stage 4 to college and university, choosing computer science opens up a vast array of career opportunities such as cybersecurity, network engineering, games development, and multimedia programming. However, the less traditional computer science-based areas are also heavily reliant on computer science scientists with fields such as medical research, education, business, aid work, and logistics, just to name a few. Computer science is the fastest developing technology in the world and lies at the heart of organisations across all industrial sectors. In the department, we also offer extracurricular opportunities and every year I introduce to the students Cyber Discovery. Cyber Discovery is an extracurricular learning programme for students aged 13 to 18 and we're on the lookout for puzzle lovers, problem solvers, code crackers across the UK to help them uncover their hidden talents in cyber security. Students are also encouraged to expand on their programming techniques at home and after school. If you require further information, uh, please go to the OCR GCSE Computer Science website or you can talk to Mr. Afiz uh, via email or you can come and see me in person. We look forward to seeing you in Year 10. Thank you.